Hey guys, it's Tenador from Android Invasion. <clears throat> I'm going to do a review for you of the Steam app for Android. This app was released January 26, 2012. It's been out for a few weeks now, about, um, about two weeks. It was in beta before, but now it's open. I believe it's open to everyone. So let's open this up. Uh, I like to start off with uh, saying how nice the interface is. It's pretty smooth all across whether you're accessing any of the uh, features. And it's really nice to smooth through it. Also, I like to point out that it's extremely identical to the iOS version of the app. Yes, there's an iOS version available. I believe Valve probably did this to rule out discrepancies on both of the applications. So whether you're on iOS or on Android, you get a streamlined access to the same application. So when you first open up the app, you see your, uh, start off with your friends menu. Here you can see any of your online or offline friends. Most of mine are offline because it's 9 a.m. and they're either sleeping or at uni. If any of them were online though, you can open them up. You can open up the friends app and you can actually chat with them like you would on the desktop application. You can also see any recent activity of your friends, whether they've been playing games or whether they bought games. You also find your friends and your group friend activity shows up friends and groups see when they played what they played who they played with stalker status <sighs> through the app you also have access to the steam catalog and i kind of have mixed feelings about this i think it's actually pretty cool that i can just browse the steam catalog while i'm on my bed or in school and I can uh, buy games if they're on sale. I don't have to wait till I'm on a computer to actually buy them. However, at the same time, if, you know, I was a retard and I left my tablet or my phone somewhere, someone else had access to it, they wanted to fuck with me, they could start buying shit and make me poor. I think that's pretty lame. But, you know, I still like the fact that you can buy games from here without having to uh, use your computer. You have access to your the specials, feature, new games, popular games. Same thing you'd expect from the desktop version. Pretty much nothing different. You open up the game and... Boom. You can get there to see what other games are included in the pack. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, another thing you can do is check news from Steam. So, when Steam, when you open up the desktop version of the application, it pops up with the window with all the news that are there, the new games, the specials, blah, 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 blah. I find that very annoying. It's trolling me every time I open it. But here you can actually choose to see if you feel like seeing it. See, these are the announcements on 75% off, blah, 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 all this crap. I think that's not that bad, but whatever. You can also see do, 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 releases on new versions of Steam when it comes out. So look at press release. And boom, Valve announced the Steam mobile app for iOS and Android. Whoop -de -de. You can also check the news on any groups or clans that you're in. So here's the syndicated group page. And there, you can see their, their blogs or screenshots and games and articles they write. <laughs> Pretty simple. All in all, this theme app is not pretty. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. I, I like using it. I oh, you can also you can also check your profile. I didn't know that. Uh, Steam app is pretty good though if you guys have a Steam account just to keep in touch with your Steam buddies or your clan buddies. It's good to have. You can, you know, chat with people on the go, buy games on the go, see all the the specials that are there. And you know, you can just do that. So that's it guys. This is Turn Door from Android Evasion. Till next time.